Good day everyone and welcome back to TFB. This is Persian Immortal and we have uh, a 1v1 Swiss tournament match today for you and if you missed the uh, tournament, shame on you. Uh, I have Tiga. Hello. And I have Swift with me as well. Hi. And um, we have Hop and Deagle playing. It was the fourth round of the tournament, and um, take it away, Tega. Okay, so we've got Hopper as USSR and Deagle as USA. Uh, they both went random, so they didn't pick these nations, they're just uh, what they happen to be dealt. It's uh, map is behind enemy lines, which is, for those of you who play 2v2 more, it's Cauldron, but with um, most of the supply depots moved around, and the HQs sort of in the centre rather than at the flanks. But it, apart from that, it's exactly the same map as Cauldron. All the towns and forests are in the same location. Um, <coughs> so, uh, y you know, at the moment people complain about USA being overpowered, so um, you'd immediately say that perhaps Deagle has a little bit of an advantage, but, you know, it's not that bad and it could go either way. It depends how they play. So, I think we're ready to get started off. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh, straight away, they're building their depots. Looks like three each. And Deagle, both camoed, and Deagle has done a decryption ruse on Hopper. Whereas Hopper, Hopper is just on the camo. This means Deagle will be able to see, like, if Hopper's got air, how many depots he's built, um, how many bases he's built. Straight away, Deagle started with the armor base and no barracks. Uh, it's quite quite usual for the USA player to build barracks, because the Willys Jeep is very cheap recon, which is uh, quite effective. But he's decided to go for an armor base with an arm to recon. Whereas Hopper's gone for artillery and AA and barracks. I'm surprised he didn't go for a proxy barracks, but uh, I thought I think it's always worth it, you know. Um, Again, USA has got pretty poor uh, machine guns, so they're they're not really good at um, dealing with infantry rushes. But at the same time. Uh, against a good player, proxy barracks rarely are effective. So you see the Greyhound now, he's blitzing towards it. So immediately, I think that Hopper will will be wondering what's going on, because Greyhounds are, it's quite rare to see a Greyhound in a one-on-one -on -one match. Um, Hopper knows he's got an armor base now, and probably also knows he doesn't have a barracks, because if he had a barracks he would probably have built Willies. Greyhounds are 25, they're quite expensive recon. Yeah. So with this information, Hopper has just built an AT base, so uh, he knows he's got an armor base and he knows he hasn't got a barracks, so he's probably going to be focusing quite heavily on armor, so straight away you want the AT base. There's no and chance of getting a decoy, great. They have identical stats, the two armored recons, so Hopper has the advantage in that his are cheaper, but obviously the Greyhound's a lot faster. Slow. Yeah, exactly. Plus, those uh, already hits Hopper do do a little bit there. Up. He's taking up his, arm, his uh, AT base. Yeah, I mean, the, the recon battle isn't really one worth talking about because, you know, Hopper can't force a fight um, with his two against one because he's just slower. So it's just a case of what they can see. Out come a load of chaffies. So Deagle's going to hit him early with chaffies. Advanced light tanks. They're... Um, very similar to the Italian Caro M15s, but they're more expensive and they've got a worse machine gun, so they're less good against infantry based units. Super fast. And they're blitzing forward. Yeah, they're as, as fast as the Italian M15, so they're one of the fastest tanks, in the, well, the fastest tank in the game. One of the fastest tanks. And they've got the same gun as Sherman, so they're, they're Shermans with less armour, more speed cost the same as well. So he's going to try and raid some depots, but uh, Hopper's got his advanced tank destroyers out, because he knew there were tanks coming. 
Uh, no, not advanced tanks twice, just tanks twice. He knew there were tanks coming, so he's he's prepared. Now the Eagles built the barracks. It's a good idea to go around the side like he is. Ah, oh, but he's easy to cut off. And if if Hopper wasn't paying attention, then yeah, he'd got around, maybe killed the depot. But it's a lot easier for Hopper to cut him off than it is for him to go all the way around again. He's leaving one over there just just in case Hopper relaxes himself. So he's easy might quote a counter back. So Deagle is building a fourth depot. He's he's decided that the the early game attack, you know, he's done all he can do against this AT. So he's decided to build up his economy. Hopper's already got four depots too. That's true. I didn't notice. Now we've got a thirty points difference, but that really is is nothing. Um, uh, it, it might make the difference at the end of the game, but usually 30 points, neither here nor there. Oh, so far, Hopper's not brought anything out against... Oh, there comes Quardia for the anti-tank guns. No, it's well key. Oh, sorry. Guardia <laughs> are, uh, are quite an expensive research, so they're not, you know, they're not a mm. must-have. Uh, I tend to Other people can get heavy infantry for 25. I, I tend to assume that Russian infantry is Guardia because it's generally a lot more effective, but he doesn't need yeah, it. Yeah, me no, too. That's true. Mm. So we have quite an interesting situation here. The infantry can't charge because of the chaffies, and the tank destroyers can't push forward because of the infantry based AT. And the artillery is got the infantry based AT and the chappies are leaving it. So he's gonna run through and kill two or three of them probably. And here comes the tank destroyer. Yeah now the AT's gone the tank destroyers can move in. Two AT guns, yeah they'll hurt your tank destroyers but not too much. Oh he's got the AT gun set up again. Yeah they're taking oh, that's not good. Chaffees are running so oh, they're, they're moving forward now. Lots of micro going on. And the artillery is taking the fire shots at the depots. Yeah. Damage his economy. I I would have gone in right then. I don't know. With the tank destroyers. No, the, you've got to remember the chaffees got more money. It would have been close. The chaffees get to pick whether to have a fight or not. If the chaffees think they're going to lose to the tank destroyers, they won't fight them. Simple as that. Yeah, but if they're completely turned around, they could get into range fast enough. But I don't even think it would have mattered, actually. They so still no, you've got a soft to fire as well with the tank destroyers. Like you, you, they're very much defensive tank destroyers which can't fire and move. Very much defensive units. The chaffees look like they're going on a little push. I don't know why he's using... That was kind of a wait. What was a wait? Oh, oh, I see why he used for that. Never mind. Well, no, he used it again. I don't really see why. Whatever. Now, there's two hmm. trucks on the left from the Eagle. Are they two depots? Is... Yeah, I think he's pushing out two more depots. He's at the same time he's taking out one of the hoppers. He's uh, decided to to push two of his own. So he's trying to get the economic advantage here. His base is being hit by artillery, which, you know, he's got to camo up and, and try and stop that. Try he's not that. doing it. He's lost a depot. And, he got and they got a depot. But he could have he could have easily saved him. That was bad. Yeah, I think those fan out ruses weren't, weren't necessarily a good idea. Yeah, he could have used that for that. It achieved much, but his base is being hit by artillery and he can't let that happen. The truck should going forward in the middle? Is it, is it a push to the depot or is it a base? Barracks, base? I think. Barracks, yeah. Closer back. Hoppers rebuilding the depot. And the depots on the left are getting hit. Like these two pushkas can hit a lot 
of the map from pretty much Hopper's base, so it's quite risky for to to deploy outside of camouflage. Um, but he's used all his ruses. He's used all his ruses in the middle of the fight. Yeah, I'm glitched. So Honestly, I don't think you need the fanat at all. That was a big mistake. Built one new depot as well. Hopper. Yep, so now Deagles, um, they're equal on depots, but these three pushkas are going to take out that one very soon, I imagine. Looks almost Unless dead now. Alright, there it goes. And now they're firing on the next one. So I'd say Deagle's in a bit of trouble now. He's, um, he's down on the economy, he's down on points doesn't really have anything he he can do at the moment it looks like he's I was about to say get infantry based AT and he got some so that will help with the tank destroyer now he's had infantry based AT for a long time those fights in the woods oh yeah that's right infantry based AT surprise attack there oops and now it comes so the super no. rushing so that's what he's been doing all this time. He's been taking up the super versions. Nasty things. It's fast damage, but not the best armored uh, super heavy tanks. They're only armor four, whereas other factions, like the King Tiger, is armor five. Uh, the IS two. Yeah, and Deagle's rebuilt his depot under camo on the left. He has just to lose another one though. But I'm guessing he's uh, hoping these these uh, super versions will be the silver bullet. That artillery is causing complete carnage. Like it's it's targeting the third depot now, fourth. Sorry, if it gets this one, it'll be the fourth kill. He'll get it. One more. Sp he's really got to take that already out. Oh, uh, he got the camel down, but it's too late. Depends how accurate these things are. Oh, he got really lucky there. But then again, he should have had a scout anyway. Well, Blitz Fano on the um, Cardia. I see. I don't like deploying my fanaticism too early. I like to pop it out after one or two units have started rushing. Now, with with infantry charges, okay, you can you can do it a bit early. No, I just got gunned down by machine guns there. They would have lasted longer if he didn't use Fnat. Uh, not really, no. I mean, some of them probably would have lived. Yeah, you might have got one or two escaping, but at the same time, if you don't use Fnaticism, you've got no chance of getting to them actually doing any damage, so you, you've kind of got to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no point in pushing in the first place. Ah, he's got the recon on that depot, and it looks like it's going down now. Yeah, there we go. So while Hopper's got Sorry. a big problem in the center, uh, Deagle's also pushing two little chaffies, um, and even there's some behind his base now. Uh, Hopper's base, cheekily <laughs> around, so he can't concentrate on the battle in the middle. Yes, but it's worth bearing in mind that Hopper is is well off on resources and has killed more as well. That's true. Um Yeah, it's uh Hopper's got five. He used the fanatic um, I don't think he should I wonder if Hopper's forgotten about this Chaffee at the back of his base. It does look like it's got around there uh, unnoticed. It's not um, under radio silence or anything, it's it's in the clear. Yeah, I'm sure he wasn't looking at it. It's easy to focus on a battle in the middle. It's easy to zoom in and focus on your 